When I came back to Karamoja, I realized the region was not connected in terms of tourism. For many years, my mother, born and raised in Karamoja, prayed for peace in the Karamoja region. Seven years ago, we founded Karatunga to bridge the gap between this beautiful place called Karamoja and the outside world. We use tourism as a vehicle uh, for sustainable developments. This is one of the few places in the world you can still experience this living uh, traditional culture. And people from all around the world are willing to invest their time and their resources to come here. It benefits the communities and at the same time also it benefits the people coming here. Today we start a journey together with our friends to a journey to actually bridge and to connect with our people from South Sudan. We're going to go to the Toposa, we're going to go to the Jie and find out how they live and especially bring peace through connection. I believe peace is key for sustainable development of our people in the Karamoja sub-region and the wider at the Karakwasta. The meaning of Ataker, uh, what I've learned is it means literally a lineage in terms of our language, a linkage in terms of our um, origin, but also a linkage in our culture, our nomadic or semi-nomadic pastoral culture. And for some other members of our Ataker cluster, it's even fully nomadic. We are now standing here in uh, Karinga at uh, the petrol station. We just put our uh, tank full because we still have a very long journey to go. And we are on a mission to reach uh, South Sudan to actually uh, meet and connect with our brothers and sisters of, uh, of our sister tribe, the Toposa, but also the Gie. I have no clue. It's, uh, I think everybody here, there's uh, Brian is here, Alex is here, Gabriel is here. We have Edmond behind the camera and a team also from uh, Karenga and from Kabong who are joining us, uh, who are these know the road. So Arabic is now, so he's going with us. Uh, Arabic, so that everything is there. We are at the moment driving uh, on the borders actually of uh, Kidepo Valley National Park uh, on our way from Kabong uh, to South Sudan to meet our, our brothers and sisters. So Kidepo Valley National Park is actually uh, a typical example of our trip. It's a transboundary park. It starts actually in South Sudan uh, and goes all the way into Kidepo Valley. So this connection we have uh, with our wildlife is also a connection we have uh, with our people. Uh, people uh, and wildlife, we all had no, no borders before. It's just a political borders were set. Uh, but we're all united. So it's beautiful to now pass along the borders of Kidepo Valley and uh, symbolic for what we are going to see in the coming days. The first time I was told that uh, we, are, we are heading to Sudan to visit the Greater Atake region, I, was ex I had mixed, mixed emotions. I was excited, at the same time, trying to figure out what, what really are we going to see or how, how is it that side. Our journey started from uh, Moroto, got all the way to, to Kabong. Then from Kabong we met our fellow colleagues and brothers from uh, Kabong side, the Dodoth, and also somewhere from Kotido. So we had planned this journey prior, but then we kept on postponing. Then well, this time in, uh, in the year we were like, you know what? Let's, let's hit the road. It, it was for me a big dream actually. You know, like uh, for me when I was back in Holland, I was uh, reading a lot about Karamoja. Uh, I was uh, asking Mama a lot of questions. We had some uncles and, and aunties came to visit us. Um, uh, and actually when I came here, I really felt uh, a sense of belonging. Uh, but also a sense of purpose. You know, you can, you can work for a company, but you don't know why you're doing it for. Yeah, maybe just for money, but uh, what we do here and now connecting to, our, to South Sudan, I, I really feel more, more sense of, of belonging and, uh, and a greater sense of purpose in what, uh, what I do. Just reached that cup waiter now, finished setting up camp and uh, you can hear some people banging in the background. People are setting up their tents. I'm just done with mine. Going to sleep with a uh, view of the stars and uh, yeah, you can see how dusty I am. But there's been 
good enough, but yeah, it was worth it. Good morning. Uh, we are here in uh, South Sudan, in uh, Kapoeta, uh, a small town actually in uh, Eastern Equatoria State. I think we all slept uh, well. We are one hour ahead of uh, Uganda. So today I woke up at my normal time, not knowing it was actually five o'clock <laughs> in Uganda. Uh, but today is going to be a special day and we are at least going to meet uh, the mayor and see uh, if we can meet the governor and the councillor to at least uh, talk with them about our mission uh, and see if they have input and can give us the blessings for the rest of our journey. My name is uh, Theo Modo. Uh, I am the son of a Karmajong uh, mother, uh, born and raised in Napak district. Uh, my father is from the Netherlands. So we founded Karatunga actually with a reason to, to, to use tourism as a way to preserve our culture, to, to conserve our environment and to create opportunities for youth uh, and thereby also fostering peace. That's really why we are here. And I'm so much looking forward to, to see how we can uh, yeah, get tourism, uh, but from the community led, uh, also into Posa land and to connect uh, to the brothers and sisters in Karamoja. With the coming of Kara, Karatunga, and you, the brothers, who have decided to have this noble visit to us is a welcome idea. And as a mayor of this municipality, I would want to say thank you once more again for having your time to come and make us part of your, of your initiative, of your idea, so that all of us, as a people of Ateke, the larger family of Ateke, nobody is left behind in terms of development. And I'm very pleased and very, very glad that this is now a gateway that the people will be able to know the culture of the Toposa people in South Sudan. Also, we, we have uh, raised last year 21 scholarships for, for girls uh, to train them in hospitality and tourism. Uh, I promised already before, I would like to give also three spots for people from, from Toposa land. Uh, and I think during this visit, we will find out, you know, with the communities, uh, maybe the hotel owners, uh, if there are any potential girls um, with the right qualifications uh, that we can bring to Moroto, train for six months and bring back and hopefully inspire other girls also to join the sector. I'm sure during your time of interaction, you'll be able to interact with your brothers and you yourselves will be able to see for yourselves the potentials that we have as a community. To me, it's very hospitable, very, it's very calm. The Paranga are the most respected people, they are the most peaceful people, so we are very much happy for your coming. And this is now the connection. We are like, now people come back and we are going back home. We know our history, we came from Karamoja. That's why we are called Nikar. Nikar is the sons of Akazgot, Akar and Mojam. So the name Toposa just came of reason, but all other tribes, our neighbors know us by the name Akara, which is Kar or Karendit. So I think this uh, visit of years is going to connect these two communities. First of all, to trace their roots, to write their history, and explore a lot on other cultural practices, and then business opportunities, and this is very important. Welcome to the village. Karibu. Ejoha. Ebalai. Hmm. Mata. Mata Dalanga. Mata Jui Jui. Mata Akile. I <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm 
For us, we started traveling through Karamoja, discovering the mountains, the people, my brothers, my grandfathers, everything. Mm. But something was still missing in our, in our activities, and also our guides were also interested in learning from other people. So today, that's why we are here. We are here to connect Karamoja also with Toposa. And by coming here also, we hope to have more brotherhood between ourselves and also foster peace. Because I believe when people are, are active, and people have jobs, the communities are together like this, you will leave things behind like charcoal binding uh, and raids. So for me, I'm very happy. I know it's a long story and we are here together. We have our guides from, from Capoeira. Uh, Papa welcomed us very nicely and I see the group is very well organized and everything we want with Karatunga is already happening here. Today really, I, I really feel like it should be one of my greatest days. Today I want to see the GA of Southern Sudan and then see what differences they have with the GA of Uganda. So today is um, the 29th of December and uh, yesterday we had a fantastic experience with the Toposa community just nearby here in Capoeira town. But today we have a, a serious long journey to go. We're going to meet uh, our brothers and sisters of the GA uh, in the northern part of, uh, of uh, uh, Eastern Equatoria, the northeast actually. So we are now in uh, Capoeira town. Uh, behind me you see we have some, some small shops. We actually bought some, uh, some items like salt, uh, cooking oil, uh, because up there in GA there's really totally nothing. There's no shops, people are really badly off. Uh, also facilities like uh, water or boreholes are not present. So we even have our own water supply for us with us, uh, so we can carry everything we need to the place. So it's going to be a 200 kilometer ride. Uh, we've heard the road is somehow good, so it take us four to five hours to reach. So we are now halfway uh, between Capoeira, Land of the Toposa, and uh, Gie. So I just learned that Gie is almost reaching the most far. We can go up to Boma National Park. So for me, it's also a bit of a dream. I always wanted to go there. Uh, but at the moment we are in uh, Toposta community and we're just gonna greet our elders. They might ask for tobacco, so I need to look for some. <laughs> <laughs> you can see we are here together with our grandfathers, our uncles, our brothers. Uh, you can see Lupa, for example, here is from uh, Dododot. And he's uh, recognizing many of his uh, ancestors, of even mates, clan mates are even here. You know, that's how special it is. So you can see we are traveling for, for long distances, but we're still meeting our, our brothers and sisters. So that's the magic of the Ateker. You can see they're very happy. You can see him laughing, you know, like, ah, we know we know these places. So uh, yeah, join our journey to discover our roots, but also discover uh, our relationships. I'm sure to help us bridging and, and, and bringing more peace to our communities. <laughs> As we told you before, the GA really have no access to clean water. They fetch water from a big uh, dam actually, together with the cows, the animals uh, and the people. So at the moment, this is the last borehole, we are sure we actually have water. So we're trying to fill up some jerry cans, uh, at least for tonight maybe to cook some food and to wash. Uh, and that's it. So it's, uh, we will notice how, how, how hard life is and uh, hopefully we can see how we can uh, support in our way uh, uh, with the GA communities. I really wanted to confirm what I normally read in the books, that the same GA are the same in Sudan. So I wanted to see, is it really, really, do the culture, are we the same water carry together? I wanted to confirm with my naked eyes. So I've reached, and it's really interesting. And they are welcoming, 
and they are also very happy to receive us. We are finally here. We have reached uh, GA. Uh, after six hours in the car, uh, people told us it was four. <laughs> and the road, wow, is I think one of the most uh, bad roads I've ever driven. Uh, but we're here, the place is beautiful. We've already met some of the community members. And uh, yeah, I think tomorrow morning, uh, we're gonna see how beautiful it is here. Let's relax tonight, uh, make something uh, to eat, and hopefully we can maybe share some, some local brew with the people around. So, uh, welcome to GIE. Aranga <laughs> so I'm really reaching out to our uh, well-wishers, uh, our fellow Atakar members, uh, NGOs that are operating. How can we help our brothers here? How can we help our grandfathers here? The GEO of South Sudan, I believe, to have migrated from Karamoja is one of the interesting things. Two, our culture with the GEO is one. And the most interesting thing I've learned today, being in Dacha village, one of the biggest villages in GIA, it reminds me of also the biggest village in Kotidora, in Nakapelimoro. So I'm seeing the second Nakapelimoro of South Sudan today. Dacha is the biggest village here, and Nakapelimoro again is the biggest village in GIA, Kotidora. <laughs> The names in Karamoja are also the names there. When we reached in the gate, we were surprised to see a woman calling Hiro, and our driver also is calling Hiro. That means we share something in common. The names were first of one, one. Two, their culture of welcoming. The GA of South Sudan are really welcoming. That my appeal to people outside the world that welcome to GA, the best home you can come and study culture, the way of life, how people dance, how people behave, how people are welcoming, is GA. It's the best home to be. I am really very excited because I feel I'm at home. All that I pray for good peace between us and them to connect together so that we can move easily. Yena <laughs> Thank you.
Today, I am very, 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 very no excited. I've been dreaming about this for the last 10 years. When I came to Karamoja, I really wanted to meet the entire Ataker. Mm. So I was not moving as a tourist. I was moving as your son. So for me today, it's one of my, the best moments in my life because I see our true culture. I really want to show what's here also to our people in Karamoja. We are here now for the first time, but I'm looking forward to come more often with our brothers and sisters from Karamoja. Because if we meet each other, we talk to each other the same language, I'm sure it also will help to foster peace. So let this be an opportunity for you also to use us as a bridge. Yeah, bridging for peace, also bridging for opportunities to help the community. So feel free, we might come in more often with tourists or with other opportunities. Okay, ala kara noi. Hmm, I joke, I joke. Hmm. <laughs> From what I saw, we are actually one. Just a small difference is, is that uh, they have kept more of their culture, but most of it, most of it is, is all the same. We are all one person. So uh, at the moment we are in a small convoy uh, towards uh, Torit. And uh, I think yesterday, yesterday was one of the most beautiful days for me because uh, I, really, I really, really had time to connect with the communities. And um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful to see how rich they still are in culture, uh, how many, how much similarities. And uh, I think our people are already branching. Yeah, so at the moment we're actually in the car, our friends here who are keeping us in the convoy and now leaving actually for, uh, for Uganda. They escorted us for the entire experience with our uh, yeah, tribe mates of the Topos and the here. So now we're going ourselves to uh, Torit. I didn't even know you were joining. You know, it's a lot of joke, huh? Yeah. Yeah. One hour drive, I think it's uh, 50 kilometers from here. And uh, in Torit, uh, we're going to climb the highest mountain in South Sudan. So uh, something also exciting for us as Karatunga uh, to put on our itinerary in the future. For me, I was really going with an open mind. And I think now people ask us, uh, we can say with confidence that South Sudan is, uh, is actually very similar to Karamoja. And you could really see people are so excited to, to meet their, their brothers and sisters. Uh, and this excitement they're bringing now back home. Uh, it will happen uh, around, around the table, it will happen around the, the, the beer, the pot of beer. And I hope also when we want to bring the South Sudanese uh, brothers and sisters to Uganda, uh, that they all do the same. Uh, and by doing that, I'm sure we will connect, we will build friendship, and, and automatically that's peace. So we are now here in Tori Town, and we are actually getting ready for the trip tomorrow to uh, Kenyeti, Mount Kenyeti, part of the mountain, uh, of Imatong mountain range. So as you can see, we are here in the <coughs> serious, serious, serious hardware store for, for traditional local foods. <laughs> so we have here uh, some tania, tania, some Arabic uh, special sweets. We're going to put on bread actually and share with our potters. Some other sweets are here. Uh, and the rest, of course, we're going to buy on the mountain. So I think we are ready. So let's set off. Climbing Mount Kenyatta in South Sudan, the highest in the whole country. I feel super excited and getting ready for it at the moment. Just arrived at the camp and getting our bags on and up we go. You can't describe. I can't. 
Five minutes. Five minutes, my friend. <laughs> Yourself, it'll be okay, but uh, looking forward to more. We like diesels, eh? Tonight, gonna sleep in the forest. Finally, it has been uh, a lot of uh, hot days. Uh, today, I'm looking forward to a very cool night in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Had to move, move through the forest all day. Felt very cold in the forest, but I relate, I relate it to one of the mountains, but we have back at home in Karamoja, uh, called Kadam Mountain, called Nakapipri District. It also has the same, same kind of uh, vegetation, forest cover. We wanted to at least make some distance, so tomorrow we have a shorter day. So at the moment, uh, we unfortunately uh, we needed to move a bit through the dark, but it was also another experience. So we actually reached the, again the Kenyati River, the famous Kenyati River, and we are here with our brothers around the campfire sharing some tea. Man, I'm really tired. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Good story. This is my first time. Man, man, look at where I slept. I had to make a hinge of my feet <laughs> such that <laughs> I don't, I don't make sure I don't roll the other side of the, of the valley. Yeah, planning on leaving at six and or some few minutes to six and planning to reach reach out to the to the summit today. We are here together, we slept the night in the hunter's camp, a truly unique experience. And nobody showered, nobody really slept, let's really be honest about that. Uh, but after everybody's ready, we had our special morning mixture of uh, Islamic foods to do together with uh, traditional foods. Uh, and we are very excited to reach the summit today of uh, Kenyati. So, like we're saying, Karamoja, apana. Let's go guys. So far the journey on Mount Kenyati has really been uh, surprising, the landscape is changing, the vegetation is changing, we found some uh, interesting buds already and uh, yes, it uh, sounds like we need to come back more often, but uh, first reach the summit. Wow, wow, wow. Just made it out of the long and dark, dark forest. We've been moving through the forest for, I think, now nine hours. And imagine where we are now. We are standing finally on top of uh, Mount Kenyeti. We still have a small, small journey to go, but we can make it. And to be honest, it was a tough one. So here we are now. We are at the highest point of uh, Mount Kenyeti the highest point of Sudan and Greater Sudan. It was a tough one, though it was a good teaser for the body. I want to appreciate everybody, everyone who was uh, in the team. Reaching up here was a struggle, but when you're up here, you forget all the struggle. I'm happy, I'm happy I'm here. The highest point, this is the highest point I've been so far, 3,187. We made it to Kenyatin!